Yeah, you want to watch this to the very end. Don't click off. Watch to the very end. Let's go. Hello, my name is David Isamoji. Welcome back to my channel. My channel is about creating design, design for print on demand sites. These designs can be used on all print on demand sites you can think of. You just now to know how to make the very best design for yourself, designs that sell. That's the aim of my channel. So if you're just joining for the first time, make sure you subscribe if you've not subscribed already. I'm all about the design. I create the design. I create inspiration for you guys. So you guys just follow me step by step on the process and make a design and you make something close or something similar or just something in that line for yourself. And with that, you'll be good to go. So I do this daily. And if I stop doing daily, I'm going to be doing it Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So with that said, I'm not going to waste your time. If you've not subscribed and you want to make money from prints on demand, make sure you subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be releasing design tutorials for you guys to watch and understand it's all it's all, it also at it also act as a canva tutorial so canva tutorial for beginners so if you've not used canva for your design i'm going to be showing you how to use canva for this your designs so that you don't have to you don't need to download software like photoshop and the rest this is a, a web-based design tool so it's going to be easy for you so without wasting much of your time i'm just going to go straight through it i hope you guys are still watching me and you guys have not clicked up already it's going to be a super easy design and you can see the time just one minute in so let's go straight right into it so now we'll just open canva.com open canva.com we're going to be using canva.com for this one it's going to be a super easy design if you ask me a super easy design just click create a design custom dimension the standard is 4500 by 5400 pixel so we just click on create a new design it's going to open a new tab and we're going to start this one by importing an element there's an element i downloaded it's going to because an idea already had in my head so we're just going to make use of that so we go to upload first thing first upload a new click on and find Think it's rooted this is it so i want to click on that and bring it in it's gonna wait for it to wait for it to, to upload once it's uploading it's done uploading i'm just gonna click on it once as you can see it has appeared here it has appeared here we'll make it bigger a bit like so Now that we have that, that's just the first step. Let's move it up a bit. Okay, I think we're good to go. So now we'll go to text. We'll just go to text. And now this is just going to say, just find one, one fancy with text, fancy with text we can use. Just find a fancy food text we can use. Okay, let's keep going to find something. We find something, something cool. Okay, we can use this. We can use this. So we'll click on that once. As you can see, it has appeared here. As you can see, it's white, so I can't see it. So I'll just change it to this color. Because you see, there's something cool about Canva. I have an element, so it gives me what they call photo colors. It picked the color from this root, which we already downloaded. So I'm just going to increase this. So I'll move my cursor to this edge. Press down my left mouse click button and drag outwards to increase. So now that we have that, you can see we don't want this another font we don't want under. So I'm just going to click on, on group. I'm going to click on, on group and click out there and get rid of that font then we'll click on this one double tap Control a so i like this o and just make that make that rooted so now we just have something like that there's a space for a reason and i'm going to show you that in a bit so now that we have that like like so we we'll just click on it like that we move it to this edge 
I'll make this bigger. Make it bigger. So now we have that. We just have that. We'll go back to element. I'll just find shape. Let's go find some shape. Find some shapes we're going to use for this design. So we'll just keep going. We don't want something so complicated. Just a super easy shape we can use. Super easy shape we can use for this one. Because something a bit off we're trying to create here. We're trying to create something magical. So now that we can find that, we just have to implement. So we we'll use this one. So we we'll just make it as tiny as possible. And we'll reduce it like so. So now we we'll just move this. Okay. We we'll just move this to this edge like that. So it's going to be like so. So now that we have that, let's see how that looks. Okay, it looks okay. So it looks okay. So we'll just click on it and take it up a bit. So let's see how that looks. Okay, it looks perfect now. So we'll just adjust this rooted a bit like so i'm sure you're getting the drill already you're getting what we're trying to do here so we'll click on this box again and we'll just reduce that just reduce that like so and like that so now we have that we'll just reduce that and now we can just put it so it's acting like a cross as you can see it's acting like a cross so now we've got that set you see we are trying to create something unique here and we are we are almost done with that it's making more sense so now i'm just going to duplicate this layer and make it smaller okay so now we're just going to click on do ctrl a to highlight that so now this one is just going to say this one is just going to say in price in price okay so we have that says in price so now we're just going to we don't want it to be super super big we don't want it to be super super big so we just like that not super big not so not too small either so we just have something like that so now i'm going to change the color of that so that we can see it clearly so we can decide to make that um let's see let's see if we can find a cool color for that um something that we can easily see okay let's make that red okay so you can see we have that you can see we have that so we can just move that a bit like so so it says rooted in christ so now we have our design our design is ready for us but there is one more step that is downloading it so if you click on download as you can see you can't download with the transcribed background and if you're serious about print on demand you should know by now you don't need the white background if you design and um, leave the white background there, that means you can only upload on white shirt and you know you will not get a lot of sales you not make a lot of money from print on demand and definitely you know you want to make a lot of sales a lot of money from it so i advise you to check the first link in the description it's totally free for 30 days sign up for canva pro with that link sign up for canva pro with that link just make sure once you click on it the page it takes you on just sign up immediately and you get canva pro for 30 days so you can remove this white background you see here and your design comes without the background and you can put it on different color of sites 
just upload it to redbubble t probably t spray match by amazon and you're good to go so with that so let's click on download and download that for ourselves as you can see we have it downloading we have it downloading once it's done downloading we just make sure we have to check it out check it out check it out and check it out to make sure there's no error in downloading so let's see for ourselves and let's open that as you can see this is what we just downloaded you can see it's quite easy this is a christian life shirt this will sell if you upload it on um christian sites i don't i don't advise you to copy directly my own you make yours I don't advise you to copy directly my own make yours but similar and you're good to go with different fonts different colors and you're extremely good to go so without said to your right you see a playlist make sure you watch those playlists so that you get familiarized with the platform and all that designs have made in the past and i will see you on the next one stay blessed